Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you're doing okay today. I am going to attempt to make this. It's called the rose. That's what it says is rose, and this is the number. And it's by David Tatera. Um, I don't really think it looks like a traditional rose, maybe a loose, looser rose. So it has three pieces. It comes with a stamen piece, it comes with a large petal. And it comes with a small petal. What it does not come with are very, very good instructions, okay? Um, that's just my opinion. I think that if you are a beginner and you don't know much about how to make flowers and you go to make them, these are not the, um, these are not the flowers you want to start off making. Maybe get a paper punch and punch out some and try that because this can be a little bit intimidating and I do not consider myself to be well versed in flower making these are the instructions it's nine steps right fold your paper put your dies on the thing cut it out and you're supposed to get five pieces so you get five of the large ones these right here and five of the small ones and then you get one stamen now this is where I don't like so I already took the liberty of cutting everything out and I made one already so this is the one that I made I only use five I didn't use all of these because I'll tell you why I wanted my piece to be more up cone shaped more flowery not flat and according to the instruction with this it's flat see right here it doesn't really tell you how to make this piece it really it doesn't it just tells you you know curve over and put on a, you can go and even here you can see like this right here is not what you get with these steps it's not so I went online because that's what I do when I don't understand something I went to um, the website which they give you more detailed instructions and that's fine and then I also went on YouTube to try to find some and I could not really find them so let's go ahead and get these out Okay, so um, I got out the five pieces. I wanted to ink the edges with this Festive Berries. I don't think I've ever used Festive Berries before, and it's a little bit on the hmm, side. So let me go ahead and ink the edges real quick. Okay, so I have all the pieces, and according to the instructions, which I've already covered up, uh, the instructions say um, fold over glue and then fold. Um, they have a video. It's like a two minute video. And they show where, you know, they're kind of fold, creasing it and then folding. I personally think that creasing it works better. I did buy this because I had attempted to make a flower before and I sucked at it um, from his uh, die set. And I was like, you know, sometimes you do need the tools that are recommended for you to um, use if you want to make the thing come out that way. Because I really, you know, I was like, I don't need that. I can just use a pencil. But I think that this works. So I'm going to go ahead and follow the instructions and fold. We're going to do a little bit backwards. We're going to fold these all, curve them, curve, curve, curve them over. Um... All. and all I'm doing is just sticking this little curving curly thing in here and it also has a folder a boning piece in there and I'm just pushing it in and curving it where um, at the very edge you do want to be careful not to tear that piece okay so I'll do one more with you I'll do a small one with you now the small one doesn't have anything in the middle so there's no way you can fold it over in hot glue I do have my hot glue gun on and it's on a low temperature because I have to touch the glue in order to manipulate this paper the best way that I um, can make it look similar to a flower you know it this flower in my opinion doesn't look bad it just does not look like I pictured it to look in my head and you know I think with more experience and um, practice it will get better so let me go ahead and curl these okay so what I want to tell you is these steps right here are easy you fold paper you put your die on the edge of the corner piece the fold piece and it cuts out I don't um, 
you know, I don't want this to be like a tutorial, but this is just how I assemble it. And maybe to help someone that bought these dies and, you know, maybe you're planning your wedding and, you know, this is cheaper and you're like, I don't understand it. Um, I do think that companies, some companies need to realize that everyone's not a paper confectioner. You know, they don't know everything about making flowers. I definitely do not. So um, this is just how I find that it's easier to do. So now the instructions say you're supposed to fold this on top of itself and glue. So you see right here, did I not cut it all the way? What in the world? Okay, we'll take this one. It's a little less tricky. So you see how you had that little split. You're supposed to take this and fold it over onto itself. Now, I do have another die. I have another flower situation. And I think that that one was a little bit easier to make. I also want to back up just a little bit. You don't need this tool to curve these. You could take your scissors. Not this yeah, we we'll use this piece. Take it, your scissors, and you can curve it. You can take your bone folder. And you can curve it. You can take your pencil, anything. You can take anything and actually curve this. You don't need that tool. But when I tried to use it without the tool, I just felt like I, I was like, okay, let's see if it's going to make a difference. Um, it could almost also make a difference that I'm a lefty and not making excuses for left-handed people. But, you know, sometimes things make more sense to right-handed people because it's their, you know, we live in a more right-handed world than left-handed world. So I just put a little bit of glue right there. As you can see, I'm going to lay my gun down to the side. Since I'm video and I would normally put the gun to my right, but in this instance, we're going to put it to the left. And I just fold the glue I mean, a non glue side over. So I kind of pinch it and make it a petal. And then this is how it looks on the back. And just put it to the side and move on to the next one. I will tell you that you really should make sure that you put this, your, your die piece, at the very edge of the paper. It does make it a lot easier to work with. The last time I um, did a flower, I was just like, I do not want to burn myself. So let's, you know, do something genius. Let's use wet glue. And the wet glue worked, but I feel like the hot glue, since that's what they told us to use, is probably more effective. You know, it does dry quicker. And it is on low temp, so once you apply the glue, it should not hurt you that well much. Um, it will make a mess of stuff. Okay, so you just have to keep that in mind and all your little spiders that you have. So I'm lifting it up and I'm folding it over and it creates that little divot that they want it to have. Okay. And just apply this. And I'm going to show you how to do all five of them since it's just five. In case you know, you say, oh, I'm doing great because I did great on like the first one I did on my on the original flower that I made on the pink flower I just showed you and then like the second one I was just like oh that sucks and like I said I think that the more you do the more comfortable you get um, I will be trying I have I purchased some more of his line because I do you know I want to get into flowers I like them so much they're so beautiful but I can't make them and I, I feel like um, that's an insult to myself to like something and can't make like I think that if you like something enough you should really be able to make it when it comes to crafting certain things i hope that makes sense like i like cake um but i don't cook cake um you know i like music some music but i don't sing but i feel like if i was into that like if that was my thing um i would want to hone in on some of the on some of those skills so i could understand like some of the things that the artist may be going through or whatever for example if i was a music person um, a musician that I really wanted to you know get into versus not so you can see how it has this wider piece that's because I didn't put it down uh, as close to the edge as I was supposed to like versus this one it's shorter if you notice um, I'm also going to try this on a my machine I'm going to find a file and see what the difference is um, you know some people make beautiful flowers I also want to try like one petal flowers so 
I'm, I'm not going to do a flower series, but I'm going to do Freaky Fridays. Um, if you've ever seen Freaky Fridays, like, you know, the original one, they swap. The mom takes the daughter's spot and the daughter takes the mother's spot because they don't understand how each other's feeling. But for me, Freaky Fridays will be things that freak me out to craft and do. All right, so now here comes the thing that I did for my little statement um, before I even started. You can use your quilling tool if you like. If you have a quilling tool, if you have um, a pencil. I used some tweezers, and these tweezers come from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I just took one in just like that and I just curl it around now you're probably wondering why are you doing your statement first I'm not really doing it first I'm just getting it prepared because what I did is not how they show you to do it in the video again I'm showing you how I assemble mine versus the instructions okay now the thing is you got to get a good grip on them and I tend to let it go um, once I get it going, which is not good. Okay, so you know, this is easy very very easy Just roll it curl it roll it around no problem I put the ink on the wrong side always always I told myself in my head don't don't um, Unink don't put the ink don't curl it on the ink uninked side and what did I did what did I do? I did so I originally used wet glue because I wanted it to stay down but in this instance I'm just going to use a dab of hot glue it's probably too much um, but you know it's okay and I'm going to roll it over onto itself and it's going to hang out I don't know how long the Freaky Friday series will be um, this will be the first one um, I'll probably do I have a few of these flowers so I'll probably do flowers um, in in the first couple of ones but it's definitely not like a flower thing it's going to be all things that i fear so you may see more embellishments you may see me doing you know it's just things that people have maybe we have suggested to me and i'm like i can't i don't know how i'm scared i'm nervous um so that's what freaky fridays will be um and you'll know because i'll post them up on friday and it'll just have the title Freaky Friday. I don't think I'll be saying, oh, this is a Freaky Friday video if it's not a, you know, if it's a Freaky Friday video. All right, so I put my little statement to the side. It's just going to hang out right there. And you see how tightly coiled this it is? Uh, now let's get back to our main focus, which are these five petals. Now, what I did is I found the thicker one that I wanted to go first because it's the thickest one. It makes sense to put that as a good foundation. Um, because if you notice, it, this flower has no like leaves or anything on there, which you could put your own leaves. You could also punch out a circle punch and glue these on top, which would make a lot more sense than um, not doing that. And so now essentially what you're going to do is you're going to take your flower piece and you're just going to crisscross them across each other. Okay, so again, I have my glue gun on low temp. And I'm just putting enough in there so it can grab all of, all of it, all of the paper and maybe even some of the little petal. And I'm just applying some pressure down. That gun is like smoking. I can feel the heat from the nozzle on the tip of it. Okay. And this is how it looks on the back. This is a great start. You know, like I said, um, it just doesn't look. Once you finish, it's not going to look like that. So we're going to do some uh, craft switcheroo. We're going to do some um, creative license stuff. You know, once you buy things, you can do whatever you want with them if it's not working out for you. So now I just took this one and I just put it adjacent to it and I'm just applying some pressure down again the glue is warm but it's not enough to um, burn you because it's on low temp which is great it's a good thing they have low and high temp on the same gun because if that was hot glue this video would not be happening um, all right so now we're going to take another um, dab 
and we're going to put it. Now, the thing that I find when I'm doing these, like this, sometimes I can lose focus of where my centerpiece is. And that's what you don't want to do. Now, we don't want to put this overlapping this piece because if I was to go straight down like that, it would definitely be over overlapping. So we're just going to put it right here. And we're alternating how we put it on. Okay. That was a bit hot. <laughs> That's okay. We got we got the result we're looking for. All right. So I just give it a second, um, and then we're gonna put our next piece. And our next piece should go like right there. Okay. And you can also plan out how you want it to look. If you're using wet glue, it could be a lot easier for you because you know wet glue gives you some maneuverability um, time that hot glue does not do for you. Hot glue is like either apply it now or you're in trouble okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece and put it right there so we really don't want it to over we want it to overlap we don't want it to be directly the same as a previous piece now it says you could do five if you wanted this to be a little bit more fuller you may want to add more to it now what we're going to do um on these pieces right here we're gonna fold these up just like that and we're gonna glue these together okay so we're gonna take our hot glue we're gonna put this to the side first I don't want to mess that up we're gonna glue these first and then we'll come back and do that all right so now you have your stamen piece take your stamen piece and um, just brush it out and while you're brushing it out, if you have did like I did, and I went back and inked the edges on the one side, but if you wanted to get a little bit more inked up, you could take your inking tool and do that if you like. I don't need to do it because this statement is going to vanish in a few minutes. So now we're going to take our hot glue and put a dab there. And you're going to put it right in the center of your petal. All right. I'm just squeezing it um, down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two pieces and glue them together. All right, so let's, before we get too crazy, see it's sitting over there on that one side. That's okay. No, no worries. Because like I said, you won't be able to see it that well anyway. We're going to take these two pieces like that so we're going to glue this side and that side now you can use your wet glue right here if you wanted to um i don't really um feel like i need to do that because we're doing so great with the low temperature that i feel like i'm safe from getting um chomped on by the hot glue i do have it all over my fingertips now but you know it's not hurting um I'm surprised it didn't tell us to curve it out like that, but it didn't. So now what we're going to do is we have our, this is going to be our true center. Okay. So this will go in the center of this at the end, at the very, very end. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take another piece and we're going to um, put it just like that. So can you see that? Just like that, okay? So I'm going to glue the bottom portion, this part right here. All right? We're just going to apply this just like that. All right, and we're gonna just try to get unstuck from the glue. <laughs> We're gonna curve or round this in just like that. Best as possible without unsticking the glue. All right, and so now what we're gonna do is we're going to adjust it because it feels like it turned, it did. All right, so it looks like this now, which is great. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to take the glue, the hot glue, and we're gonna put it on these Okay, because we don't want to ink, we don't want to close the rose off or the flower off. And it, like I said, this doesn't look like a rose to me, you know, not a flower rose. Because you know, usually with roses, they look a bit more 
dainty and pretty this this looks like a rose um that i have on my rose tree on my rose bush that was like look you haven't watered me so i'm not gonna really grow to my full beauty um you know i'm just growing this hot texas heat and now that it's been cold the tree is just bare it is a bare bush um <laughs> which is fine um i really got the rose bush more for prickliness because you know roses are prickly and i had cactus cacti i should say a whole lot of cacti in um along the fence line um just to deter people that may um want to try and invade my space because we do have people that walk and we have a little trench and you see how it's coming out now we don't want all of the flowers i don't know how it ended up being like this but we don't want all of them to be like that we do want them to alternate so this next round i'm going to have to make sure i pay attention because i want it to be like this as well okay and then we'll be done with this portion you see how it's looking now i think this is a lot better than how they um are, than this okay because this is not the steps that we followed at all um i did everything that i could and i'm telling you i follow i follow instructions when i don't know what the heck i'm doing and Kent, it doesn't look the same in my opinion. This looks a lot, it's pretty, it's just loose. It's not, I don't think it looks rose-like. It looks like a flower. Uh, maybe a rose that's been plucked and it's just sitting on your table and the petals are starting to fall off. That's what it looks like to me. It doesn't even look like this. I did this portion right here on my own. So I'm not ranting, I'm just confused about instructions. I, I prefer you know really detail instructions because if i was saying i want to try this and this was the first thing that i wanted to try i would be so intimidated i put the glue on um and now i'm putting it right here i'm gonna apply some pressure right there just so it gets a good stick oh i got a good stick it's all over my fingers okay and so now what we're going to do is we're going to just, just barely, just barely put some glue on this edge. Okay, just barely, right there. I apologize if I keep coming out of frame. I Sometimes when you're doing some craft stuff, you need to be able to see what you're doing. And like, I feel like sometimes detail crafting, where your face needs to be like almost in the project will require you to do that but i think if you are more seasoned with making flowers you're like brandy what <laughs> i could have made that flower in five seconds um but you know i always tell you when i don't know how to do something i never want to profess or pretend like i know something when i don't it's just not you know a good way to be in my opinion so i'll tell you I don't know how to do this, but we're gonna try it out together. Um, I was having, I've been having crafty conversations with a lot of crafty people. And that is why Freaky Friday has come about. <laughs> so I think this looks pretty already. You can't, I mean, tell me what you think in the comment section. What do you think? All right, so we're gonna put this to the side and we're gonna go back to, um, fixing our petals okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to take these and we're just going to plop them right on down in the center because we don't want all of the larger petals to be the only um loose petals i hope that makes sense so we're going to put this right here and we're just going to try our best not to get the glue spiders okay so we're going to just try our best to put this down um and i find that once you put these in you can't really maneuver them like you really want to you can't adjust on the first one i showed you i tore of the petals off some of it i tore this center piece off right here and i re redid it because i was like this is not um this is not how i want to envision this and then i do you know i like this one that we're working on a lot better than that one 
um i just think it's a lot prettier it's um maybe it's the inking you know sometimes when you distress something it looks a lot better <laughs> so i'm applying some pressure and hopefully i can do this without making it mess up it doesn't tell you to do this at all in the um any of it but i feel like this is what is needed closer to the end of the project before we put our middle piece in okay so like i said and then i like it better and everything is stuck together and now we're going to put our middle right in the middle and you see leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you think do you have any of these um david to tear or even sizzix because this is a sizzix um die and i know that they have other roses out there let me know what you think i do have some other sizzix rose pieces and if it's this hard i'll probably be getting rid of them you know if it's that complicated i do think that if i got my you know cut it out on my can and cut it'll probably be a lot easier to do first of all you know you got to run this die through your die cut machine at least five times with the scanning cut i can take a 12 by 12 paper and probably get like three of these three or four of these cut out on one so i have multiples um but i only have this one thing and look at it it looks so much better than my first one um in my opinion and i think it's because i did some manipulation to the the project um I love I love this one. I love this one too because this, you know, you're always gonna love your first first creation. <laughs> but I really, really love it. Um, and it's so much pretty. And you know, I did some of the distress and I think it looks good. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you have these dyes, these um flower dyes, and have you tried them? Did you buy them because they won't sell and you haven't used it yet? Let me know. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.